The concept of a leaky gut has become a household um, name and it's been in, uh, implicated in many disorders from metabolic disease all the way to um, chronic degenerative brain diseases such as Alzheimer's and possibly Parkinson's. Integrity or the permeability of the uh, intestinal layer um, is influenced by various dietary uh, factors, but one of the most important components that we now know is um, the role of the fiber that we ingest in our diet. So there's two components that determine the permeability of the leakiness of our gut. One is the mucus layer. Um, it's a layer made up of, again, of certain glycans, complex sugar molecules, and then it's the, 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 the um, intactness of the lining of the gut, so-called epithelial permeability. Now the microbes have primarily an effect on the mucosal, um, on, the, on the mucus component of this, because if we don't ingest enough complex carbohydrates, we starve our microbes. And then the microbes, they don't just die off if you starve them, but they turn um, to the mucus layer, which is also made up of these complex sugar molecules, and feed on that, on that mucus layer. So if you eat a low fiber diet, the microbes inside of us will start a feeding frenzy targeted at this uh, mucus layer, diminish its size and complexity, bring microbes that live in the gut closer to the epithelial li lining and to the immune cells that are very close, and only microns away from that lining. Um, and uh, that can have several results. One is it, it compromises the integrity of the barrier, so it becomes leakier. Another one is that it makes it much more likely that um, potentially pathogenic organisms uh, like E. coli, um, um, that, that they have easier access to our immune system can trigger a gut inflammation. So what can we do? This is always the big question that audiences ask and patients ask. What can I do to improve my um, leaky gut to enhance the, the barrier function that our gut has that separates what goes on inside the gut from the immune system, from the nerves, and ultimately from the rest of our body, including the brain. Resorting to a diet that has the maximal amount of um, complex carbohydrates from different plant sources um, is the best way to uh, assure this. Um, we don't know if you start out with a compromised um, gut function with a leaky gut if the dietary intervention by itself is sufficient because there's other factors that can contribute um, to this leakiness. For example, chronic stress has clearly been shown to increase the permeability of the gut layer, not so much the mucus, but the gut layer. Can we resort to things like probiotics and prebiotics to have the same, the same benefits? So prebiotics are clearly um, substances that um, represent some of these um, fiber-like molecules. So it feeds certain types of microbes. Um, there's several available of those prebiotics um, that essentially increase the abundance of bifidobacteria. So that's kind of the, the main target for these. Um, but is that sufficient to create um, or to nurture um, a composition that um, will not let the microbes uh, follow down a pattern where they feed on the mucus layer uh, rather than um, being satisfied with what we serve them in our in our daily diet.